Okay. Howdy, Anson Garcia with Tier 2 UC Engineering, and I'm going to be going over the configuration of the Mobile UC um, dock. Um, now, when it's in the dock, the uh, Android phone or whatever phone you have in the dock registers through uh, the Ethernet port in the back. Um, through the IP network um, to Communication Manager. So it's important to remember that outside the dock um, there, is an, there is a client still enabled and it uses EFA um, to do dual stage dialing. You can look at my video on EFA, MBA, Mobile UC um, to figure out how all that works. So again in the dock it registers as a phone and it uses the Ethernet infrastructure okay so we have to configure a phone um, on communication manager just like we do uh, any other Cisco IP phone or CS or what have you okay so the first thing you do and I'm this is very uh, briefly this is not a deep dive on on all the um, configuration so uh, but uh, if you've configured things before, you'll know exactly what to do, and you could use this video to um, uh, shore up any loose ends from the uh, um, documentation. So you would go to security, and you need to create a uh, security profile. Um, so uh, for the particular phone, and it's a phone security profile. Now you can use the standard one. Um, but uh, the documentation will take you through creating another one. And I'll just show you the one I created here. <clears throat> um, you can actually use this third party device, Advanced, also if you want to. And uh, there's one button you have to push in there. But uh, best to create another one and, and, and name it so you know uh, what it's used for. So here's mine here. I just created a new one. There's not many settings in here, just a few name, description, um, the amounts, uh, uh, validity time, um, and that comes up by default. Uh, so the only real thing you gotta change here from when you create this new one is this enable SIP, uh, excuse me, enable digest authentication. So this is what the phone uses to uh, authenticate, log in, what have you. SIP devices or these type of SIP devices, third party SIP devices, would be Polycom or uh, Verizon Wireless Mobile UC Dock, don't use MAC addresses. Um, so they um, uh, use um, the MAC addresses are kind of bogus. The MAC addresses are funny, funny uh, MAC addresses. Uh, but they do use um, a digest authentication, which is the username and a password that gets passed passed over so they can uh, log in or register to the communication manager. Anyway, after you do that, then you go create your device. And um, let's go to phone. And it's very simple. You can add new device. I'll just show you this real quick. And the one you're going to pick is the third-party advanced SIP. Uh, this is this guy right here, third party SIP device advanced. And after you go through this, I mean it looks pretty much the same. There's a lot less configuration, um, quite frankly. Um, and I'll show you when it's already configured here. Let me see if I can find it here. Here it is. And you can see right away that that's, a, that's not a real MAC address. It's kind of a funny number there. Um, as long as it's not doesn't uh, conflict with anything else, uh, you can use whatever MAC you want. All right, now this looks like a regular phone configuration. You got call, search space, uh, all this other stuff. The thing you want to, a lot less, so that's the end of the configuration right there. So the things you want to do, um, obviously the things that you're most familiar with, uh, device pool, description, and all that stuff. The thing you want to make sure, you want to make sure the owner user ID is selected. Um, and you want to make sure that you um, Pick the right device security profile, the one that you just made in the uh, system security, phone security profile. And then um, uh, the digest user here also. So that's part of the login process uh, for this particular, uh, uh, the phone dock. 
and that's really it then you of course do your regular stuff create a line and things like that and uh, that's it so pretty simple configuration as far as uh, communication manager is concerned uh, any questions just uh, email tier 2 or myself Anson.Garcia at risingbusiness.com thanks for listening